Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot is out for the Caves and Cliffs update Minecraft Java Edition 1.17. Here is 21W08A. This one comes with more world generation tweaks and fixes and I've gone through all the gameplay changes in my main update video. That'll be linked here in an iCard on the video and also in the video description if you want to take a look at that one first. This video is going to be about all the technical changes, mostly for a lot of new custom world definition stuff. Let's dive into it, but let's start with some other things. Grimstone has been renamed to Deep Slate. There's actually a split in blocks here. The Grimstone that would generate in the world is now Deep Slate, whereas the Grimstone that was used in recipes and other things is now called Cobbled Deep Slate. This means a lot of recipes and advancements and texture files and models and so on have moved around. You'll have to track those if you're making a pack this early on. For recipes and advancements, more changes. The slime and honey paths have changed since they changed the tab in the creative inventory. And all of the recipes and advancements that reference ores, the ores that now have two different types, stone and deep slate, use a tag instead of a direct reference to a block now. So for instance, instead of diamond block, there's now a tag match for diamond blocks. Speaking of tags, there are new blocks and item tags for those ores. Diamond ores, iron ores, lapis ores and redstone ores. And of course the gold ores already existed, but that now also contains deep slate gold ore. There are also two new block tags called stone ore replaceables and deep slate ore replaceables, controlling which blocks can be replaced by the respective type of ores. Now let's move on to those custom worlds. There's a lot of changes here. There's a new configured ore type, it's called Ore Tough, and it generates a blob of tough and it's been added to all the vanilla biomes. It is available only on a low height. Geode features have changed a little bit, they now have an invalid blocks threshold field. The invalid blocks in question are air blocks in the center of the geode. That means that with a low threshold, the geode will not generate if there are air blocks in the center. Or features now have a list of target and state combinations instead of just one target and one state. That means that a single ore can generate multiple types of blocks and this of course is used in vanilla to have something like the diamond ore feature generate either stone diamond ore or deep slate diamond ore depending on the matching of the block that was there beforehand. Ore features can now also have a chance that the ore is skipped if that block is exposed to air. It is called discard chance on air exposure and it's also a floating point value between 0 and 1. There's a new configured ore as well called ore iron middle and as it turns out this is unused currently it has not been added to the vanilla biomes and that is why there is no iron in this snapshot. If you've seen my main video you'll know that there is a bug in this causing iron to be very rare. Expect that to be fixed in a B snapshot tomorrow, and if there are no further changes in that snapshot then I will not be making another tech video for that one. More changes, fields that used to be uniform floats now have a type and several available random distributions. These are used for instance in the dripstone cluster feature. The different types available are constant, which is either just a floating point value, or a constant type and then a value field. Uniform works just like before, has a base and a spread data, where the base is the lowest value and the spread is the amount of randomness that can potentially be added to that. There's a trapezoid distribution with the min, max and plateau fields. This means that the value falls between min and max and is a triangle distribution with a plateau in the middle of plateau values. And there's also clamped underscore normal, which is a normal distribution, but cut off at a min and max value. So this has mean, deviation, min and max fields. With this, the dripstone cluster feature no longer has wetness mean and wetness deviation fields. It instead just uses a clamped normal float value provider for its wetness. Let's talk about the big thing though. Carvers. Carvers have become more configurable in this version and with that the crack carver configuration has been added and it's added to all the vanilla land biomes. It is in type a canyon carver with a different configuration than the normal canyons. All carvers now have more configuration. In specific they all have a debug settings field which allows you to switch on a debug mode. In debug mode all carving leaves a special block state as a trace instead of 
the normal carving, and you can specify which blocks to leave there for different carvers. For instance, if you switch on the debug on all the vanilla carvers, then you will get different types of buttons representing where the air would go in these different carvers. Canyon carvers are now even more configurable, as evident by the crack carver. If you want some starting points for experimenting with this, I suggest you look at the vanilla worldgen configured carvers, canyon and crack.json. There are two vertical anchors, they are bottom inclusive and top inclusive for defining the height span available to that type of canyon. There is a horizontal radius factor, which is a float provider that determines the horizontal radius. There's a vertical radius default factor and a vertical radius center factor. Both of those are float values and the default factor adds a radius regardless of where and the center factor adds radius depending on where in the height span you are. There's also thickness and distance factor float providers with smoothness, which is an integer that determines sort of how quickly the side widths change and a Y scale, which is an integer or a uniform int provider. There is also a vertical rotation field, which is a float provider kind of determining the tilt of the carver. And those were all the technical changes in this version. I hope you found that useful, and if you did, please help me out in return. Leave a like, drop a comment, share it to your world generation config making friends, and of course, please subscribe to the channel trying to get to that milestone of 50k subs so it would be very appreciated but that's going to be it for this time my name is Slice Slime thank you for watching and I'll see you next time